Duct tape, impressive survival tool. I don't know of anybody that's concerned about survival or as a prepper that doesn't store duct tape. And so we're just going to take a look at all the different uses for duct tape and we're going to demonstrate some of the ways you can use it. Duct tape was actually developed during World War II to seal ammo boxes. But from there it became a mainstay for improvised repairs and other things in the field with the military and of course it went over into the civilian world. And duct tape has been known to be a wonder tool. And I'll tell you what, guys, it is. It's incredible. Now, it's funny, as I was preparing for this video, we typically have the gray, basic gray duct tape. And we had just run out, and I ran out and bought some of this Gorilla Tape. And, you know, it's pretty much the same stuff. Um, they talk about it being a little bit stronger. I don't necessarily think so. This is really more like 100 mile an hour tape. And I do have a big roll of that. I keep it in my truck. I don't have it handy, but this is the same kind of thing. This will fit all the same needs. This is really lesser expensive, more decorative, uh, of course, you have you know your ACU camo, and then here we have just some skulls. Uh, this is made by duct tape, and this is actually pretty decent stuff. But this is more for fun. But you can still use it, and plus it gives you some different color options. Now, I love ammo cans to keep my ammo in, and they usually have a seal that goes around the inside. That's really why it was made, to seal up your ammo. Here you can see in the lid that you have a gasket that goes around, and you really need to take care of that gasket. It can get messed up, now, especially if these old cans get dented, uh, they can lose the seal. They can lose their water tightness. And of course, taking duct tape, just going around the outside. It's going to give you just that extra protection and seal this up for good. Duct tape is not waterproof, but it is water resistant. Also, taking two 30 round magazines. Of course, there's a lot of couplers that you can buy, but let's just say you don't have those couplers. Take your duct tape, wrap around it. And of course you want to give it enough to hold it together, but this is a great way to keep these together. That way you have 60 rounds instead of 30 rounds right there in the rifle. And 1022 magazines a lot of times have little couplers that connect together, but they can come apart. Wrapping these up with duct tape just gives you a little more security, especially in a survival situation. My grandpa's old single shot shotgun, he actually put some epoxy right here. These stocks are almost impossible to find. But in a really tough situation where I really needed this, I sure would feel a lot better having a little extra security, especially with a 12 gauge single shot. It does look ugly, but it can hold. And if something were to break, at least it'll keep it secure a little while. And if you know where I can get a stock right here for a Stevens Model 94 single shot 12 gauge, please PM me. Also works well as an improvised rifle sling or any sling for that matter. You can sling your gear, you have a broken strap, you can repair it. This sling option is actually very comfortable. Of course, for my brothers in Connecticut and New York, you can hide your valuables. If you need it, ready to rock. You have your knife, you need something a little longer, go ahead and take an old stick and just wrap it up with duct tape. It may not be the prettiest thing you've ever seen, but it sure can help in a pinch. All right, that Glock field knife is incredible. If you happen to lose your sheath, take some cardboard, cut it out, fit it to the knife, fold over the tip to reinforce the tip, and wrap it up. When you get to the top, form a little loop, slide it through your belt. Not pretty, but it sure will work. Stuffing your pants leg down into your boot helps to keep some critters out and other unwanted guests. But to get really serious, wrap that up with some duct tape. Now you're good to go. If you have a cut or a wound and you have some gauze or any kind of cloth, you could even use a shirt if you needed to. Wrap that up and take your duct tape. And that's going to secure it at least till you get help. Not only will that cut the bleeding down, but it'll also keep infection, dirt, other things out of the wound. If you have a leg injury, a broken bone, you can take two sticks.
This will help you to at least be able to move around and get that bone set until you can get help. Did I also mention that duct tape's reusable? Even after using it in a lot of these demonstrations, I'm able to pull it back up, I'm able to put it back on the roll for reuse later. And in a survival situation, that could be really important. Taking duct tape where the sticky uh, side is together, it can be used as an improvised sling. If you're getting blisters on your hands, you can wrap it. If you're getting blisters on your feet, you can wrap it up. And that way it'll keep it from rubbing on your feet and making it even worse. And of course, if you're using tools and everything else with your hands, you're going to blister them up. So it's great to be able to use this for extra padding. If you have a broken arm on your glasses, good as new. You're not going to be able to win a fashion show, but uh, you will be able to see. It can also be used as a restraint. And if you have children like mine, got them all tied up. Just kidding. Whoops. Thank you. Yeah. You have a leak in your hose, duct tape, at least get you home. Did I mention this stuff was reusable? Belt breaks, you can mend it. If you don't have a belt, take your duct tape. Just fold it in half to get the sticky part concealed. You got a belt. Just tie it up, or you can even tape it together. This will keep from you showing your underwear. I know some of you guys like to show yours, but for me, I like to have a good belt. Having an open container, you lose the lid, take your duct tape, put it around. It keeps it from getting contaminated, and it also holds that water into place. If you have a leak in your bottle, take your duct tape, seal it up. Even if it doesn't stop the leak, it's definitely going to slow it down. It's going to keep this container good and solid. Then you just drink it, then you save it inside. <laughs> of course, obviously it works with food stuff as well, all these old peanuts. Even if your lid's cracked. But if you're missing your lid altogether, seal it up and you're good to go. During civil unrest or even a terror attack with chemicals, you can take and black out your windows and then use duct tape to seal it up. Taking trash bags and attaching them together, sealing them up with duct tape, and then you punch a couple of holes, secure the ends with folded duct tape. This is great for shelter, improvised shelter, to get you out of the rain, uh, to keep you warm at night. Also it can be used great for a windbreak. And you can also check out my video specifically about using trash bags in a survival situation. And I'll have it linked, of course, right here and down in the description. Now with this old backpack, I've already sealed up the ends of the frame. This just kind of keeps it a little bit softer since there are no caps. But if you have a little leak somewhere at the top, a little pin prick, just tape that down and that's going to keep it water resistant, keep your gear inside dry. Also if you're getting water in your boots or it's cold weather and you want to seal them up, you can load this up with duct tape and it'll help to insulate and it'll also keep the moisture out. I love my German Flecturn poncho, it's great, but if it does get a leak, find the leak, seal it up. Yeah, it's not going to quite blend, but again, it'll work. For a tent or a poncho, if you have a pinhole leak, put it on the tent. This is going to help. Again, it's not going to be waterproof, but it is going to be water resistant. You can also use it for fly paper. Just hang it and let the flies land on it, especially in a tent or camping situation. You got cords and things strung everywhere, little duct tape. All sealed up. Even around the camp, if you need light, attach it to a tree, use it for a lantern. And of course, you can tie food, other things like that. You want to get up in the tree. Anything you can use cordage for, you can really use this duct tape. And my personal favorite, keeping peanuts away from the bears. You have an extra pack and you need to put it somewhere, your pack's full, run duct tape up through it, and you can attach it right to your bag, good and secure. It can also be used to mark a trail or to leave a message. And while this is not SHTF, it is for me. If my tripod goes, which this one broke, I was able to fix it with duct tape. Of course, there's a bazillion more uses for duct tape. So down in the comments below, just give us your idea, something that you could use this for SHTF, because a lot of people like to look down in the comments and see what's being said. And you'll give some people some ideas. So duct tape, thumbs way up. What do I think about duct tape for survival? priceless.
Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. crap and we'll get this thing off. <laughs> Duct tape? How about Gorilla Tape? Yeah, I know it's D-U-C-T, but it still sounds like duck tape. Duct tape for... Duck, duck tape. Duct tape for survival? Duct tape for survival? Impressive. <laughs>